Yep. Yep. And then that's how uh, we do it. So I'm Irish American, right? Do you know what right? else you are? I don't know. I'm not really Irish American. You're a redhead, bro. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that I'm Irish. You, well, I'm American. You, I mean, yeah. That's but like, see, that's what I'm saying. That's like, that's like black people calling themselves African American, and they're not African American. The majority of them <coughs> that are in America was not born in Africa. They are. They have. No, they have no sort of. They may have some sort of African descendant, just like I have some sort of Irish descendant. You're like European. Yeah, I'm some, but I'm, but I'm American. I was born and raised in America. If you're born and raised in America, you're American. That's well, the way like, that I well, see like it. You're, you're racist. Like I'm racist. No, 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 no. <laughs> like your race is from from there. Oh, like 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 that's where you will eventually evolve. Yeah, from. but because I mean, that, you gotta think about like, like uh-huh. why do we even call people like Irish American or African? That's American? because they are it's they come like, from, from Ireland, from Ireland thousands or of years Africa. Ago, you were evolved like you're. We'll see. The, like you're, if that's the case, then nobody's then nobody in America is actually American, except yeah, okay, for like, except well, for the, the Native States, Americans, well, and they have to be a hundred percent. The United States is weird, bro, because like it really is like a melting pot. I yeah. mean, like you gotta think like. A lot of people came from just different parts of the the world here. Like, I mean, yeah. think about it. It's like there's 341 million people in America, in, in the United States. Mm-hmm. It's the third most populated country in the world. But the country's only been around really for maybe, I think, maybe 250 years, maybe less than that. Yeah. That's not really a long time. 1776. I mean, like, think about... But even before that, that's like whenever it was officially established. Yeah, I mean, like, people came here, like... Maybe then, back in like the 1600s originally. Yeah, and even before that, like it 1500s, was... Like 1500s, like you, that's like the, I mean like insignificant numbers, probably around like the 1600s or 1700s, like I mean, that's when you start having like like a million people from Europe being here. I mean, in the beginning it was just like these little tiny settlements like Jamestown or something. It wasn't mm. like, oh, there's just a million Dutch people in fucking New York all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Like 1500s, like no, it started out like like a few hundred. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like... Uh, I don't even know how we can get on top of well, that's this. Why, that's why, like, uh, that's why New York is so, it's so diverse whenever it comes to race, races of people and different ethnicities and different cultures is because that's where, like, well, one of the biggest ports was for well, a bunch of different immigrants back in the day. Even today. And it's, even today. It, it's yeah. still the most diverse city in the world when it comes to language and yeah. ethnicity. For like, real. Like, half of the city... Just about half of the city is foreign born. Yeah, and I mean it. That's when, how it's and, always been. And when I went there, like I, I could say hands down when I was in Manhattan, that was the case. Like, there was so many like French, Chinese, so Japanese. many different people. It's so many different languages, and there's so and there's, and so there's so actually different, different districts within that city yeah. where they specifically like, speak a certain yeah, like, like even like Chinatown like that's yeah, the that's, yeah. like, the, there, there was like that's the biggest Italy one that I can think of like that. Little Italy like there was like specific parts where it was like this is where people from this country would kind of like go to because they would they were familiar I mean it would make sense I mean like if, if you if I was from say Italy and then I moved to New York yeah uh, I would probably go to a place where I could understand the people that were around exactly. me and they had like a familiar background and mm-hmm. little Italy, like little I, Italy. I, I would go there. It would make <laughs> little sense fucking to go Italy. there. Yeah. Like I wouldn't go to Chinatown because I want to understand anybody. So it makes sense to go to the places where it's familiar. Yeah. That does and, make and that's sense. How, like that's how all of Manhattan was. It was like, you'd like, like Times Square, you'd have people that were like, you'd have like middle Eastern food. People that are like, like the, the street food was amazing. Like you have, you, you could go to like uh different types of cuisines like you just walk down the block and you have like japanese chinese yeah we'll see all sorts of stuff and back to what we was talking about about the american thing is that i think that if somebody is to con- consider themselves something other than american they would have to be they would actually have to be a direct descendant of another of another race of some sort i would say like like we was talking about italians so if somebody comes from Italy and then they come to America, this is I think there's only two ways in order to call somebody 
an actual Italian American, African American, you know, Irish American, or so on and so forth. If you're if you're split like that, it's either your parents have to be of that descendant, and then you have to be born in America, or you are you come to America and get your citizenship. So either that way, or you come from another country, and then you come to America, and then you gain your citizenship. So say that I'm from Ireland, I was born in Ireland, but then I come to America, then get my citizenship, then I would be considered an Irish American. And then the other one, like I was saying, the the other one of the two is if, say, my parents, my dad is Italian and my mom is Italian and they come to America and then they have me, then I'm considered Italian American. Mm-hmm. That's the way that I look at it. But if both, if my parents are born in America, raised in America, and then I was born in America and raised in America, then I consider myself an American. That's the way that I look at it. Yeah. American, like first and foremost. Yeah. That's, but, but I think like having an idea of where you come from, and I mean, you can, I mean, in the days of age, like, you can do, like, a DNA thing. I think it's cool yeah. to learn about your lineage. Well, I'm just, I'm just specifically speaking about whenever we're talking about labels, because it gets messed up whenever people are, especially, especially with the, with the African American thing, because they, they push that in the media, and then. Oh, I don't even follow that bullshit. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking in general, if, because people were putting labels on whatever, and so why don't, it, it has to be either or, like you, it's either people are, all these people that are born in America are American, or all these people that are, anything are, is you have to be very specific with whatever the fuck you are, you know? Yeah. Like I, Do a I, DNA I, test, and that way you can find out. Either I would be considered Irish American, or I'm just American. And I think that it's just better just to be American, because I was born in America, so that I'm American. Yeah, you're American. Like, that. that's your nationality. I mean, yeah. that, that's, your citizenship is here. But if you did a DNA test, you would know, like, your genealogy. Like, and you could probably find out, you could probably trace it back... They probably have records like if like my say for my mother was able to find stuff about, you know, our our heritage from like a thousand years ago, you'd you'd probably be able to do that yourself. Like they probably got records to a certain point. I mean you you'd have like points where it would it would die off because the records would be lost. Yeah. But you could probably there'll be other branches of the tree that you'd be able to, to go back further. Yeah, and actually <clears throat> actually and I, yeah, and like I said, I think it's important to to know about that stuff because I mean I I mean, wouldn't you want to know about your your predecessors and who they were? Because I mean, honestly, they're the reason why you're here today. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it would be cool. I think it definitely would be cool. And um, I'm still thinking about. I'm still thinking about like a like the label thing. For some reason, because it, I, for some reason, I'm still thinking about it because I'm still I'm stuck on it too, in like my professional work as well, because you know how people like if you do something, say say, um, I'm a I paint right, say I paint, then people would consider me a painter. You know, if somebody lays brick, they're considered a mason. Mm-hmm. So, I think that's that's why I'm that's why I'm thinking about that as well. Because, in a professional standpoint, whenever it comes to labels, because and I'm and I'm thinking about this because we were just talking about like the race thing and what people are labeled in society. So, what people are labeled, and I think that that's a crazy thing too because. You may be labeled something based off of what you do. Like some people, like me now, some people consider me a photographer, whereas other people consider me a painter, whereas some people only know me from the podcast, you know? Mm-hmm. So then these labels kind of get kind of get messed up and weird because then it kind of just... 
it just it excludes you from all the other types of types of things you may do you know like if you make drinks somebody may consider you a bartender but little do they know maybe you do other things like you know podcast and shit like that and real estate so then some people may know you only for real estate whereas other people may only know you as bartending but to classify you as just one of those things can be um excluding the other things if you know what i'm saying i mean you can specialize in more than one trait yeah but i guess that would come down to you as a person like advertising yourself as as a jack of all trades in some ways like I mean, if if you're doing real estate stuff, you're you're doing real estate stuff. You're not there. You're not mixing mm-hmm. drinks. Um, and I mean, I guess at the end of the day, if if somebody if they know you through like say doing podcasts, then I mean they know you through doing podcasts, not through see. And that's the artistry. Di- that's the dilemma that I'm in too, because and I I don't I'm not trying to I'm really not trying to make this personal because you know I don't I don't like to talk about myself. But, um, I mean, it's, it's what I fucking know <laughs> because I'm me and I live my life. So, you, you are you. so it's, you said what? I said, you are you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I don't like talking to myself cause I don't want it to seem selfish or anything, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to broaden it out once I state my specific situation so like my dilemma is that i like to do a whole bunch of different things people that know me know that i do like you know i do painting i do like oh really a bush <laughs> fucking yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so i do that you know i do fucking photography i'm actually I, last night i was working on an outline for a book but I'll get in that later, but... No way. Yeah, no, seriously. Really? Yeah, I've been, oh, well, man. Bro, I've been working on an outline for a book for such a long time. I've had a, like... I actually have it written down in a in a notebook that in I was working on. Yeah, <laughs> well, in a notebook, I had, a, I had an outline, a small outline, like a draft of an outline, a draft of a draft of a draft, if that makes sense. And I've just been slowly working on it and putting it together because it's I feel like a, it's a lot of work to make a book. And bro, it's a lot that goes in, especially the type of book that I'm trying to make. It's it's a lot that goes in it. But anyways, before I get off of what I was saying, I will talk about that in a minute. I was saying that I like to do a whole bunch of different things. To sum it all up, I like to do a whole bunch of different things. And it's difficult to... I can understand how it could be difficult to be successful in all of those things because I I also seen a it was a picture of something that some of I want to say a meme I keep wanting to call those things memes but it was like an Instagram post that somebody had posted and it was some sort of motivational thing and it showed a it was a girl that reposted it and it showed five different I'm going to say for the sake of argument five different glasses right and then there's a picture and then it says it said some sort of caption along the lines of pouring all your energy into one thing or multiple things so it showed a picture full of water or what the fuck ever it was and it, in the bottom one it showed that the water was divided evenly into all the glasses and then all the glasses were just you know a quarter of the way full and then on the top picture, it shows that the pitcher is only pouring the water into one of them, and then the glass is all the way full. So I interpreted it as if you're going to put your energy into something, it needs to be just one thing, so that you're more li- you're more likely to be successful in that one thing because all of your energy is in that one thing. Whereas if you're putting it into multiple things, trying to be a, you know, um, Jordan Peterson talked about what that. is that? What is that called? Uh, Jack of all it's, it's um it's like Jack of all of trades master, master of, none, of none. none master of none but it's not jack of all trades it's something else uh jack of all trades master of none something like that and it's definitely it's really going to bother me if I yeah, don't yeah, look yeah. it up I know what you're talking about but I don't know it either 
Yeah, I'm just going to type in Master of None. <laughs> Master of None saying. Maybe it's like Student of All, Master of None or something like that. Yeah, it's Jack, Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Holy shit, it actually, really actually is. Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Um, But anyways, I can see where it could kind of be... It can kind of be... um you know, difficult to succeed in all of those things. Whereas if you pour all of your energy into one specific thing, then you will succeed in that in some sort of way. I mean, I would think about the time it would take to become a master of like a certain thing. It's like, it'd probably take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Well, Um, there's like the... There's like the ten thousand hour rule. That's yeah. what that's what people kind of scale it by. But I think that it's more than it's more than ten thousand hours. I wonder how many ten thousand. I wonder how long ten thousand hours. You is. know, twenty four hours in a day. It was broken down. It was broken down in thirty three. No, I was just say thirty three strategies of war. But that's a different Robert Greene book. Mastery. Robert Greene made it, wrote a book name called Master. I think Robert Greene is like the. I think that he is the best author of our generation, mm. for real. Because I've been reading a bunch of different books and a bunch of different books by Robert Green. Robert Green, I've probably re- read the most amount of books by that specific author. And they are just phenomenal books. It's, uh, they're easy to read, and he's able to tell stories within those books and relates to whatever he's talking about within those stories. And it, it's so neatly done and so well put together and well organized that it's just so easy to easy to understand. And that's what I love about about any of those books is like when once you start reading it, it's like Stephen King, like once you start reading it, you just don't want to put it down. And I don't even read fucking Stephen King, but I know th- that other people do, and then I can understand how they feel whenever they read Stephen King, the people that like Stephen King and like those kinds of books. I was about to say fantasy, but I don't think it's specifically fantasy. It's fiction. Hmm. That's what uh, that's what Stephen King usually... In, anyways, I'm going off the fucking topic. Anyways, whenever I think of somebody that has been successful and mastered a bunch of different things, I, I think of like... I think of uh, Elon Musk. Yeah, but there's not many of those, though. Yeah, there's not. But I think of I think of his mastery as uh, as engineering. I think that's his his mastery. Something that he's put more than ten thousand hours in is engineering. But also, there's the business aspect of it, and it's like Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was uh, he was a businessman. Whereas Tesla, Nikola Tesla was, he was an inventor, but he was he, he was an inventor, but he wasn't business savvy. He wasn't business savvy, and he <clears throat> he died poor because he was he wasn't able to negotiate well. I mean, he was he, he invented things, but he was not able to negotiate. Yeah, and it, a lot of people took credit for the things that he did. It talks about that in uh, laws of power. And well, yeah, not even that. Yeah, that book and uh, what is that other book? Fucking uh, think and grow rich, think and grow rich. That one, Anyways. yeah. Like, and so I mean, poor guy. I mean, but <laughs> poor like, guy. You know what I'm saying? But, but I mean, <laughs> poor fella. You can be great at one thing, but you need to know. I mean, I guess it would depend upon what you want. But if you're if you're wanting to monetize your ideas, Tesla was terrible at it. Yeah. See, that's, that's, I think that's the dilemma that I was saying that I was in because it, this kind of leads into the, into the label thing. I think that it is important, even though that it seems like it's not important to have a label attached to your name. Like, here's this person, and that this is what this person does. So that people understand exactly what you do, so then they're able to pay you for whatever you do if you're providing value in some sort of way. 
So I think that's why it's important to have labels because if somebody if somebody has a bunch of different labels besides their name, then what specific thing are these people going to pay you for? If that makes sense. And then people also speak to speak of businesses as children in the sense of if you have a bunch of different children and you put all your attention in all of those children, all those children aren't going to turn out as if you were to put all of your attention into one child or two children or less children than 10 children, if that makes sense. So if somebody has 10 children, all those chi- there's a there's a bigger possibility of most or some of those children uh, not able to be successful due to lack of attention. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't have as much time to invest in one kid. I mean, yeah. that makes sense. But I guess back, maybe back then, what, why people had so many kids was because they, they needed the... Well, they're more looked as more of assets. Yeah, like they would help out with stuff. Nowadays, they're looked as liabilities. Like, they'll put a they'll put a number over a child's head and be like, one child cost a million dollars to raise it's for its lifetime. So then if you have five different kids, that's five million dollars that you have you gotta, to put in that kid. Yeah. Whereas back in the day, they looked at it as, okay, so this kid can make me X amount of money. This other kid can make me well, X I mean, amount of money. Well, I mean, not even that. It was like, they needed farm hands. Not even that. Like yeah, that. they needed them in order to do whatever it is that they needed to do in the family farm. And plus, like, a lot of times, like, some of them want to make it to it. And survive. Yeah. So like more the, kids like that you have. Like, like, it was like, I have, like, seven kids, and more than likely, some of them will be able to carry on, like, the lineage. Yep. Absolutely. Man, it was, uh... It was rough back then. It was rough. <laughs> like, you know, my grandma talked about, she had, like, multiple siblings, like, Multiple. Yeah, bro. My uh, my damn grandpa had nine siblings. Yeah, yeah. That'd be wild. Like, if it was nine siblings, or there was nine of them. And so, like, not yeah. having as many siblings is like, but like, uh, that's that's more of a recent occurrence. I know what the crazy thing is is that I can name all of them. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> that is wild. And actually, I, I mean, I I know their names. I don't really. I don't I don't really have a you know have a relationship with all of them. There's just, just a lot of them. I don't really with. I don't really know them, you know, that yeah. well. I know of them. I, same same. I know of them, but I don't really they're kind of like they don't well a lot of them already passed away, but like cuz my grandmother was the youngest of the bunch. Mm. But some of them are still around. But <clears throat> And then the next generation, like my mother, my father, they had siblings, but maybe like one. Mm. And like me, for example, I have two older brothers. That's it. Mm. So I guess like having the occurrence of like not having as many siblings is something that's more new. Yeah. Like you're yeah, the, it is you're more. the only child. Yeah, which is wild. You have no brothers. You have no sisters. Mm-hmm. There's only you. It's only me. So your parents had to invest everything that they had into you. Yeah. Because that's all they had. <laughs> <laughs> that's all they had. Yeah. They like, that's they, all they wanted. That, that's all they had. That's all they. They were like, we gotta invest everything we can in this this kid because they're yeah. they're we don't have any other offspring. Exactly, and I'm blessed for that. I definitely am blessed for that. But at the same time, also along with that is that I didn't have anybody to kind of like bounce off of so I didn't have anybody like that I grew up with except for the people that I met in school yeah I mean like to bounce ideas off of or bounce or to like reflect how I act off of yeah I mean like maybe having like a an older brother Mm -hmm. can come in handy for 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 the sake of wisdom because like you know when you have a brother Mm -hmm. it's like maybe Six, seven years old. Then they are you. already experienced They've certain experienced things. They've experienced that, and then and then they can p- pass that knowledge onto you many years before you have to learn it yourself. That can be absolutely. Uh, that can be useful. Like, and then, in some senses too, like if uh, 
if a younger sibling also experiences something that the older sibling didn't experience, then they can also share that information as well. And then yeah. I believe that they could just bounce off of each other like that. And then also whenever it comes to like, I had to learn, I had to learn a lot of different things that other people learn as well through siblings kind of like trying to have relationships too with other people i kind of had to learn that myself and that's what to an extent i had to that's why i call myself an introverted extrovert or an extroverted introvert that's the way i like to see myself because i'm introverted at heart but I was taught growing up that I kind of had to be an extrovert or I wouldn't have any friends or I wouldn't have anybody to, or I wouldn't have anybody at all around me besides like my parents, but those aren't my peers. So I can't really relate to them as well as my peers. So then I, I felt as if I had to get out there and constantly make relationships with other people. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you didn't really have a choice. I mean, you you were it was just you. You didn't really the only other person you could really talk to was decades older than you, and that was your parents. And then yeah, more than likely they weren't able to relate to your situation. Yeah, that's what people don't talk about too. Whenever they're they're like people were talking about only children, they're like, oh, you must have been spoiled or some shit. Yeah, maybe I could see myself kind of being maybe spoiled from like a resource in standpoint. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, think about it. like if you got three kids, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta get them like if they're born within like a a relatively short period of time between each other. Let's say they're all in high school. You, they all need cars. Mm-hmm. They all get cars, but they're all kind of like you know, like little beater beater cars. You know, they're not like mm-hmm. if you got one kid. You can you can get them like an M. Uh, you know, like a a, a five series. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that I had to pay for yeah, <laughs> myself. Pay. Yeah, but you're like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. No, but yeah, I definitely am thankful. I definitely am thankful so like, for real. The resources go from having to be divided by two, three, four to just one. Yeah, there's a lot you can get. A lot. It'd be like a stock, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. It's like. It's like an investment. It's like an investment. So you're like, oh fuck, man, I got like twenty grand. Got mm-hmm. Like four different stocks, I got to invest my five grand between. Oh, well, if I have one one stock, and you only get you only have one stock, you don't get to have a choice of multiple yeah, stocks. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, fuck it. I mean, I don't really have a choice. <laughs> We're gonna I, I guess I guess I put this. everything, all my eggs in one basket, <laughs> and I hope that shit turns out well. Yeah, you listening to this, mama? <laughs> yeah. And they're they're like fingers crossed. Yeah. Your fingers are crossed. Fingers crossed. Hope this ain't a dud. Maybe I'll procreate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this guy can carry on. Their, I mean, what else is the point? <laughs> what else are you like? What's the point? Like, Maybe I'll carry on the genes. Yeah, I mean, if you die, I mean, where's? I mean, it goes to it, <laughs> what it, happens? What it goes to test state and the state gets it? I mean, that's a pretty <laughs> fucked up situation. <laughs> You did, you, worked, you did all this work just for the state to take your money. <laughs> cross your fingers. Hope cross I procreate. Fingers, cross my fingers. Hope to die. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe Let's I will one of these days. Roll the dice on this shit. Roll know. the dice. You might get it. You might not. They're probably like, man, I want to have grandchildren. <laughs> Maybe you one might. of these days. You this, might. This is your best hope. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm your best hope, you're fucked. <laughs> might as well drop the nukes. Yeah, go ahead. Drop him. Nah, that's all right. Yeah. He'll do fine. But yeah, bro, an only child, bro. <sighs> it's lonely out here. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, lonely. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Trust me, because I might as well bet an only child because my brother was so much older than me, they they didn't want nothing to do with Yeah, me. but y'all got in little fights and whatnot. They used to beat me up, bro. Hell yeah. I come home from school and they beat me up. <laughs> what do you think that was fun? You got bullied and shit. They're like several years older than me. They're, they'd be like, get this fucking like, little munchkin out of here. <laughs> they'd yeah. be playing like, Pokemon. I'd be there. Uh-huh. I'd be there just, like, observing. Oh, fuck. And, and they'd be like, get the fuck out of here. They'd lose their Pokemon match and they'd yeah. beat me over the head. Sweet. <laughs> I did not experience that. You are lucky. <laughs> I did not experience. And like, like with the attention thing too, you, you can see in a bunch of different families. I've seen this in a bunch of different families like, where, you know, 
parents will say parents will claim that they don't have a favorite. They do. But they do. No, they do. They do. And you, you can it see may, it no, all no, no, the no, time. No, no. Bro, I've seen it in and so and many like, different families. Sibling, you, you can see that because it really comes down to who was, who is, who's the most competent. Yeah. So yeah. it is a competition. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're competing all the time. And when your brothers are older and more competent. Yeah. Makes you want to be competent, too. Damn, Devin's the favorite. Yeah. <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> I'm going to beat you, motherfucker. Don't you? <laughs> you got a head start, but I'm coming for you, fucker. Damn, it's a it's a race to the finish line. and You might have a thousand days on me. Debton's procreating first. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that. I, I'm, I ain't following those rules. I'm following money, and I'm following uh, fitness. Damn. Do you see this shit, bro? We're in a competition. I'm telling you. He's telling you. He's calling you out right here. You want a Porsche? I want a Ferrari. Okay. I'm telling you, bro. I'm coming for you. Yeah. He's he's coming got, for I, your ass. I ain't got nothing else better to do. He's going to he's gonna beat you next. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you got years on me. This, um, is, a, this is a threat. <laughs> this is war. <laughs> this is fucking war. <laughs> You better be locked and loaded you next time you come over here. In. You better go <laughs> don't fire your ass, in. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> this is just going to be a whole... We're going to write a diss. <laughs> um, yeah. It's going to be a Debin diss. Yeah, you shit. Debin, it's going to be called Debin from the 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to beat you in chess, too. <laughs> yeah. Is it, can you play chess? Debin knows yes. how to play chess? Yes. Ah, oh, bro. I'm going to play the fuck out of him in San Francisco when I go. Really? Dude, I should have played him whenever he came I'll over play here. Play rummy too, bro. We need to play chess after this. We gotta get you practice, bro. bro. Drank this whole goddamn. You're gonna be leaving. You're gonna be leaving next week. We need gotta get you practiced. We gotta get you practiced so that you can beat Debman in chess. I mean, it makes sense. Exactly. We don't have a choice. They literally have. A, they have nothing but Seven Eleven out there. I'm gonna be your chess coach. All right. You mean? You mean pay you in cocaine or something? Like, what do you want? Nah, I don't want you to pay me at all. All right, well. Well, I mean, I'm just going to get paid in victories. Paid in, <laughs> get paid in arrogance. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Confidence and just yep. domination. Yep. And just I go to chess club and get absolutely dominated there so that no, I can- you dominate them. I can come here and then fucking dominate. Dominate the commoners. <laughs> yeah. The common folk. Chris. <laughs> yeah let's play chess <laughs> we can play chess we'll see it yep i'm sure he's good at it let's yeah we'll run up chess yeah. <laughs> chess one chess two chess three chess four we'll, we'll go we'll go hit chest we'll go hit chest we'll, we'll play we're gonna we're gonna do chest workouts while we play chess with seth and Debin at the 7-Eleven on 9-Eleven in a Porsche 9-Eleven with Kevin and um, Brevin. Brevin. Yeah, Brevin. We're going to get Brevin back on here. Hell yeah. We're going to race the 720S. Yeah. We're going to fuck it up, bro. It's no choice. We're going to fuck it up. We're gonna, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna fuck up the space time continuum. We are. We're gonna take it and rip it. Sip it. Trip it. <laughs> we're gonna flip it. Bro, we're gonna take it. the fabric of time and gravity and we're gonna, uh, f we're gonna fold it into a paper airplane. Into a paper fucking airplane. And then I'm gonna throw it. Into a black hole. <laughs> Into a black fucking... Bro, you know, I've heard something about black holes, and they're, they are fucking spooky. I think that's probably one of the craziest things besides... <sighs> besides God himself. Let's hear it. Huh? Let's hear it. A what? Spooky. Black holes? Yeah, but... Uh... Black holes. Yeah, that's the craziest... That's, uh, that's probably the spookiest thing. Yeah, those things are kind of weird. Like... Yeah. There's a certain point in which light cannot escape. Like, bro, a black hole? Bro. Uh, bro, a black hole? Bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. Imagine imagine being able to breathe in space. 
first of all. So, so let's just say, let's just give you a, let's just give you a hypothetical here. So if you could breathe in space and then you were thrown into a black hole, bro, do you know how, and you didn't, uh, bro, if you could survive in space and you were thrown in a black hole, you would die from, you, you would just be spinning off forever. Anything that goes into a black hole just... D- <laughs> I don't know what on the... No, nobody knows what's on the other side of a, a black hole. That's the craziest thing ever. Where exactly. It is it a worm? Nothing. Hole? It's nothing. Where does it go? It's nothing. <laughs> Bro, think about that. Like, everything we can think about and everything we can point out is something. But imagine going into an area where there's... At, like, imagine... A, uh, splitting this dimension it's like basically a split in the dimension where it goes into i want what the fuck is it i want to say equilibrium but that's not the fucking word um man what the fuck is it called <sighs> god damn dude man and there's no like concept of time out there so, like, you age as... And time is the craziest fucking thing, too. Before we... I don't want to complicate this shit. I'm drinking. I don't want to do this. <laughs> bro. It's just hurting. Yeah. That, I mean, bro, if we started getting into that, that's 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 deep. As, whenever we start talking about time, because time is fucking bullshit, man. Time is, time is bullshit. And then whenever they make a movie where they go back in time, any of these movies where they go back in time, they... they they fuck it up. They fuck up the possibilities of time travel because they don't get certain things right. Because if they were to get it right, it would be so complex to make. I think that the Avengers was probably one of the closest things to getting time travel right. Like, Back to the Future didn't really get it right. Or they actually, Back to the Future got it somewhat right. But there's certain things in time travel where it's just so fucked up. You ready to end this, F? I'm in a lot of pain. You're in a lot of pain. Headache wise. Really? You Unfortunately. don't want you don't want to talk about time travel and black holes and <laughs> I drank a whole bottle. Brother! Fuck that. Well, I mean, okay. Well, let's say that's the case. That doesn't make the alcohol go away. <laughs> His brother, yes, it. Uh, uh, okay, imagine getting tossed in a black hole. You're able to survive in space. <laughs> you're able to survive in space, and you're still a human, but you're able to breathe in space. You know, like with a black hole, it will tear you down to your very atoms, so you wouldn't even be alive. You think so? That's what I was told. Really? Yeah, well, I was. Watching. And I may I, see. I may not even. I really don't unless know shit about unless black the holes. Scientists are wrong because it's like, so like a, if a planet was in like no, I mean I don't know. I really don't know anything about black like, holes. I just know that it's like basically a like, rip. Like it, it tears them down to their atoms. So like, wow, you're not alive at that point. Like I don't know. I mean, you just be broke down to like the molecular level, and then where you go after that, they don't know. Like, bro, is that? <laughs> I know it's it's obscene. It's insane. <laughs> like, is that a is that a glitch? That I mean, I mean, it might as well be. Because I'm understanding the f- like. What is a black hole? Like, that's what I'm like, saying. Where does it lead? It, it's like it, it leads goes into nothing. If matter can't be destroyed and it can't be created, yeah. Like, so we have an equal. We have a certain amount of it can of, only of be material. It can only be. It's, being, it's basically being. It's being broken down to its very. Basic form and then being transported somewhere else. Exactly. But where is this? Where is this something else? Yeah. Is this another universe? Like you really can't destroy. I mean, a black it. hole is basically just the gateway to another universe. So I'm saying, <laughs> it's like a split in the dimen- in our the d- dimension. Yeah, I mean, it, it, and then like it shoots out into another universe, and then it's broken down to the molecular level, and then eventually these. All those things co- coalesce and create. New so you're stars saying if you universe. went into a black, if you went into a black hole, you just die on impact. Is well, that basically well, what you're you get, saying? You get torn apart. 
you get torn apart because why? That's what that's what I don't understand. Um, I did, and the, I didn't know that. You just told me something. The gravity. That I didn't know. Think of it as like you ever like had like a a bathtub filled with water, and yeah. then like you take the drain out, like you take the the plug out, and mm-hmm. it has like that 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 vortex. Yeah. Well, think of like you inside Going that, that vortex, but like you're not. It's not solid. Mm-hmm. Right, it's like a like a sphere, like a a, a cylindrical sphere. Okay, so does going it down suck? Into the secret, yeah, basically, like it's like there. There's a point of no escape. So once you like event horizon, and then once you get to that, like you can't. It basically just stretches you out. Yeah. Atom by atom <sighs> by atom by atom Man. sucks you into this hole. Mm-hmm. And then we don't know. And then after that, <laughs> we have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I mean, maybe you could send a probe into a black hole, but but you, th- then there's you d- none that are nearby. So then you don't know what happens after after it goes. So so there's a possibility that you are able to go to the other side while staying intact. I mean, I don't know. It, 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 it might. It probably. It probably. Thousands of years, maybe a thousand. I don't know if it means like five, maybe five hundred to a thousand years before we find that out because we won't be able to. God damn. We'd have to find a. It's like a black, a black hole, hole, not even close enough in order for well, us I mean, to even th- get. There's one at the, the at the center of our galaxy. At the center of our galaxy. That's what holds galaxies together. Did you not know that? I did not know that. God damn, bro. Are you actually serious? Well, like the Milky Way. The, at the middle of the mil- Milky Way. The gravity of the black hole is what has gotten made all these planets. That's what's making the swirl. Yeah, that's why it has its spheres. <laughs> Whoa, bro. You're telling me something crazy as fuck. I didn't know that shit. Yeah. Yo, bro. That's a black fucking hole. That's what holds, so, bro, the, that's what holds this whole galaxy together. So, bro, but, that but shit. But what's happening is slowly everything that's in. We're actually slowly going towards that black hole right now. So, that black hole is. It's absorbing the whole galaxy. <sighs> Bro, God damn, Every man. So you at the center of it, what holds it together is a black hole. A black hole. The bigger the black hole, the bigger the galaxy. <laughs> so the black hole itself is bigger than the is bigger than It's more dense than every single thing in the galaxy. It has to be. And that's what's attracting it to. That's yeah. why, that's why the sun had, just like the that's sun, why, that's, that's why, why we orbit the around the sun, sun is because it's more dense than us. It's attracted to the density of the black hole and slowly over time everything <laughs> in this gravity. galaxy will go into that black hole. <laughs> Yo, and bro. That's crazy as fuck, dude. That is a fucking mesmerizing. Wow. A black and, hole. And right now, within some... We, we are on a collision course with another galaxy. Yeah. But what will happen is those two black holes meet. The bigger black hole will absorb the smaller black hole <laughs> and then take over that galaxy. <laughs> Bro, you're telling me some crazy ass shit. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. I really don't know much. I really don't barely. I really don't know anything about black holes. I just know that they exist, and I kind of know what they are a little so, bit. So, like, okay, I can give you an example with like the planets, like uh, like Saturn or Uranus. Why it has a ring around it? Yeah, is because there used to be planets that that got too close to the. To, to that planet itself and the gravitational pull of that planet pulled that moon apart and made it, ripped it into shreds and made a ring around it. it really? It all comes down to the gravitational pull. I feel like I've heard that before. I, I definitely heard of that before because there's another planet besides uh, Saturn that has that has rings around it. That yeah, that, but the, the reason why it has rings is because one of its moons got too close to it uh-huh. And the planet that that host planet ripped apart the moon, mm-hmm. and that's what I'm saying that it, it all comes down to like the gravitational pull of things. Mm. So it's like like big fish eats little fish, quite literally. Wow, bro! On a cosmic scale, <sighs> man, you're and telling me some crazy that's shit. What's ha- it's actually like a big giant free for all going on <laughs> between and, planets, between planets and black War. holes. Yeah. And really, at the end of everything, it's going to come down to just one black hole eating everything up. It's planetary war. 
Galactic War. Wow. Universe War. Yo, Universe War. Universe versus Universe. Big Universe versus Little Universe. Who's going to win? Big Universe. Big Universe. But uh, but the thing is, like, eventually everything will be absorbed into black holes. <laughs> and then it will go to another universe. And then, like, I don't... I, mean, I don't know if it'll be another universe, but I mean, honestly, let, let's be honest. Let's be honest. I got 50 more years. Like, I'm not going to be seeing that shit. You know what? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck about anything because we're all going to be absorbed in a fucking black hole at the end of the day? I mean, we, we, so why the fuck does well, it any matter? Nothing means anything. <laughs> we are a bunch of stardust, quite literally. Yeah. I mean, think everything that you are is billions of years old. I am billions of years old. Yeah, <laughs> you are billions of years old. Yeah. We're, we're we're fucking ancient. The water that we drink is billions of years old. I'm seventy yeah. percent dinosaur. Fuck you. <sighs> Whoa, the water that we drink is billions of years old. The water that we drink is billions of years old. And we're seventy five percent water. Whoa, bro, bro, you're you're tweaking me out. Where so did like, water come from? Where did water come from? Jill, bro. <laughs> Here we go. I should fucking... <laughs> damn, I go. need to start smoking again. It feels like I'm starting to smoke again. So where the fuck does water come from? I thought water comes from the earth, does it not? It came from asteroids. Huh? <laughs> asteroids? Yeah, well, the, 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 the planet that got torn apart that is now made the rings of Saturn and Uranus, uh -huh. it was made out of ice. Okay, no. The well, moon I, made of an ass. Yeah, I know that. I knew yeah, that. Mars has ass. The moon has ass. Mars, yes, Mars has water. It's yeah. ice. It's ice. The moon has ice. <sighs> yeah, the moon does have water ice. Water is. It's in asteroids, it's everywhere. Just like gold, titanium. Uh, bro, I'm trying to think. These are all created from the hearts of stars that blew up in mil billions of years ago. And wow. And then they've just spread it out. Because sun, everything. Yeah. So, what do you think is going to happen first? You think that our sun is going to explode? Well, but what will happen is it'll become a red dwarf and it'll absorb all the planets in its vicinity. So, what what will happen is that shit it will swell up to the point that it will engulf the Earth. <laughs> what the black hole? No, the sun. And then it will oh. then it will sh shrink back down and then go supernova and destroy the solar system. God damn! But not the. But that that that'd be like a few billion years from now. Yeah, but not the. Uh, so then everything's just going to collapse and then eventually the black hole will absorb it. it mm, I don't know if the sun has enough mass to create a black hole. You have to have something that, the, the, the sun is like a maybe like a a medium sized star at the most. Uh-huh. You have you have stars that are thousands if not millions of times bigger than the sun. Wow. And th when those when those go supernova, they they're so dense that they collapse in on themselves and create a black hole, just like at the center of our galaxy. Uh huh. But so that's what that causes happen, that is like a supernova, like a well, big explosions a supernova, of a supernova is like a. Is whenever like, a star, whenever a star explodes, it explodes. Yeah, yeah, and it shoots all of its. I mean, it, a supernova. You'd have to look it up, but it, like superstar. Supernova. I mean, it's like a... It's the nuke of nukes. <laughs> it's the nuke of... Nu yeah, it is nuclear. Holy shit, it is. No, it definitely is. And like, a black hole wow. is just... I'm thinking, the, it, black holes are interesting because, I mean, we... So people have, it, like, took a pictures of and documented them now. I mean, recently. Yo, isn't... Isn't basically... Whoa, bro. Isn't, like, solar... Solar power basically, like, nuclear energy? Like on a small scale, third it's well, like third hand nuclear energy. It's like fusion or or, or maybe like fission. <laughs> like we're trying to Whoa. create like fission, inter, like fusion or fission energy, which is um, probably not that far away, really, in the big scheme of things. But essentially, with with that, you're creating a small artificial star. Mm. Um, you got hydron colliders, which are like these giant. You know, hundreds of miles. Well, I really think that the next. I really think that the next. Smash into each other. Um, the next. 
uh, revolutionary invention is going to be of either water power on like a on like a smaller level to where they're basically like batteries or um nuclear nuclear energy in a small battery i think that's going to be the next revolutionary thing where a battery this small of nuclear energy yeah, like, where they're going to be able to do that and it's going to be able to charge um a whole like a whole city with a battery like this that's what i think is going to be the next revolutionary thing um besides and battery, ai is going to help us do it yeah it's like well yeah like It'd be cool if, like, you could get to a financial position where you could afford, where you could afford uh, being like immortal. And immortal. Yeah. Oh man. And that way you could have just observed <laughs> like, the different like technological technological progress because it's it's not like it's not linear. It's kind of like that. It's not. Like, yeah. I mean, it's not. Where's like, the end point? It's not like where it's like, oh, we're we're increasing one percent a year. It's like we're increasing. It's like a hundred percent a it's year. Like compound interest <laughs> with technology. Technology. Technological compound interest. Yeah, and it's like kind of obscene. Um, Oblivion. Yeah, I mean, that's what it was called. That I was saying that it was. You're stuck in oblivion. Yeah, I just, I just. I wonder what the end goal is for humanity in a sense. Like, I, what are you, what is yeah. the, what's the point? What is the point? Yo, that is the craziest thing. What is the point of everything? What does everything mean? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Here we I, go. I, I mean, motherfucker, let's go starship. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> let's go on an expedition. We yeah. Some, a planet with some... An, I mean, with some bad bitches. <laughs> bad bitches. <laughs> We're gonna find the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call us the fuck out of this shit. <laughs> Servitude. Right, like, we're coming in here and we're conquering shit. We're Let's con. Con- Let's turn into the new Middle Ages. Fuck it. Yeah, you know what? Genghis Khan of the galaxy. You know what? Fuck conquering these little stupid ass countries and whatnot. We're out here conquering galaxies. Planets, man. Planets. You got to think big. We're conquering solar systems. No, I like that. No lie. Like, for yeah. real. Like, no. Okay, but we'll go back. Go. Let's go harvest a star. We're going to harvest stars. Like whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, you listen. See that planet? Get rid of it. So, bro, I want to go back to what you were saying. Like, what? what is like the end goal and everything. So... I've thought about this so many Become different times gods before. Ourselves. Bro, and especially whenever I've bitten on damn acid and shrooms and shit, I will visually see this whole thing play, like play out on different scales and in different the the odds of everything like happening, what it seems as if the everything happening, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and uh god damn it, man. It's tough. AI especially so it the thing is is that if we're if we're in a simulation which if this is saying it <sighs> Are you listening? Yeah. No, I I I am just looking at stuff right now too. I'm just paying attention if you're all, if you're all right over there. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> I've been drinking. I mean, it's, You've been drinking quite a bit. Really? There's nothing left in that bottle. God damn. And I have a terrible migraine, dude. It's annoying me. Well, then I, I ain't going to go down this road. Like, it's just annoying. I was about to go down a rabbit hole. But fuck it. We're going to harvest these fucking stars. And we're going to wrap this shit up. Fuck those stars. Fuck those planets. <laughs> fuck, uh... Who else? Probably fuck everybody on this planet too. Nothing means anything. Life is what you make it. <laughs> so you Life decide, is what you make it. You decide what you want it to be. Yep. If you don't want it to be nothing, that's cool. If you want to go after something specific, go ahead. Nobody's stopping you. Or not me anyway. Or 
don't do anything. Some people do that. And don't hey, don't do anything at all, and let everything go to waste because it doesn't mean anything in the end. Well, I mean that's pessimistic. If if we thought like that, we wouldn't even. We probably still be throwing stones at each other, honestly. But um, it's enjoyable to see where we can get to. Yeah, just don't even don't even attempt to accomplish anything because at the end of the day. It doesn't mean anything. Even if, an interesting thing, what you're saying, like in some sense, you are contributing to the future. <laughs> By me saying that? Yeah. Because a thousand <laughs> years from now, somebody will see this. A thousand? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Even if, like, there, there will be something. That's going to happen. That somebody will see you in a thousand. Think about it. <laughs> They're going to try to sue me. If I, like, I think about it. I was watching YouTube short yesterday. Uh-huh. From the 1980s. From the... A YouTube short from the 1980s? No. It was a YouTube short, and and it, the, the, the interview was from the 1980s. Oh. And the lady was from the 1890s. <laughs> oh, I, I yeah. Told you, this. you told me about that earlier today. Just today. So yeah. So, used to say that a thousand... Like, a hundred years now? Uh-huh. A thousand years from now, somebody will bring you up in conversation. Yeah. See, that's the goal. And they're going to be like... If you're relevant. Well, let's be honest. There's 120, 150 podcasts of this shit. The fucking aliens are going to pick up by it. They're, <laughs> the they're, aliens. They're, they're going to be there and picking up on this shit. They're going to subscribe. Yeah. The, <laughs> the aliens are going to be coming down and they're going to listen to the whole Hard gonna, Entertainment they're gonna, podcast. They're going to be on this bitch. They're going to be on this bitch. We're going to have aliens on here. Hey, if you're a fucking alien and you decide to come over here... Oh, we'd love to have you. We'd love to have you. I'll make you a drink. He, Steph's going to make you a drink. We're going to introduce you to our little chicken buddy over there. Chicken little. Or a chicken fucking little. <laughs> and then we're going to uh, we're gonna make you into lovely friends of ours. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. I mean, I, I'll teach you how to drive a car. You teach me how to drive a UFO. Exactly. We're going to be friends. And that's not just that's not just to ride your dick or anything. Like We ain't yeah. trying to ride your dick. I'll shoot a nuke at you. If you got a dick. If you're an alien and you got a dick, we ain't worried about it. We don't care. We don't care about that. If y'all got pol- politics and whatever y'all decide to do, we don't care. We want to be your friend. We want to be your friend. If you're an alien and <laughs> <laughs> bring alcohol. God damn, Seth. <laughs> I mean, god damn. I mean, look at me. Motherfucker. Yeah, you got to get every little bit out of there. You might as well just, you should have just been chugging it out of the bottle. God damn it. <laughs> That's what you should have just did. I mean, look, man. If you're going to pull up with a UFO, just bring some alcohol, okay? If you're going to pull up with a UFO, tell us, at least at least tell us how everything works. know what type of drink you want. I mean, I mean god damn, I don't got no fucking drinks here. And you better know how to fucking speak English because if you're advanced enough to go from your planet to our planet, but you're not advanced us to learn advanced enough to learn our fucking language, then piss off. At least attempt. I'll teach you English. And then you, you can just teach nod me. your head. I mean, fuck it. And you can teach me whatever the fuck you want to teach me. Jibber jabber. We'll, we'll learn jibber jabber. And we'll introduce you to our chicken little friend over here, too. Motherfucker seen aliens himself. He won't even tell us about it. He got abducted last week. He won't even tell us about it. About ready to wrap this up? We're ready to wrap this shit up. Hell this, yeah. This, this, migraine this is the fucking... Me. This is the fucking end. This is the end. Oh, wow. It's literally one hour. This is the end of fucking everything. Not just not just this podcast. We're We're ending everything. We're about to harvest these fucking stars. <laughs> I can't take this shit seriously, bro. Sorry. All right. We fuck with you, aliens. Regular ass Hello. humans. We don't, give a, we don't give a fuck about y'all. The fuck ever you are. We don't give a, we don't give a fuck about none of y'all. Scorpion is a set. We only give a fuck about aliens. They're chill. Not just the illegals. But we're talking about the yeah, actual yeah. No, real fucking aliens from different planets. Come over here and f- 
chill out with us. For real. All right, this is the. Li- do you want to say anything else, Seth? To Def no, MF? I, I feel like I said enough. My brother keeps on texting <laughs> me. All right, well, we'll hit him up. We'll hit him up in a little bit. He's, he's asking about California. He's asking about groceries. My thought is we need some snacks, sandwich bread, and some biscuits. Y'all can heat up if you wake up hungry with it. All right, peace, peace the fuck out. Peace, guys, for real.